Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Spigot plugin tutorial here. Today I'll be showing you a new plugin here called Mine Alerts. So yeah, it's actually a plugin where you can like identify X-rayers. So like you can prevent X-rays. You're basically gonna get alerts every time someone mines a lot more ores. Like you know, like people can just X-ray and you're gonna get the alert. So it's basically a cool tool to use, and I'll be getting more into it later in the gameplay. Now I'll be showing you a bit about the resource page. You can already see everything here as it, there's a page on why use mine alert. There's a thing about how does mine alert works, what is mine alert, and there's even the commands and permissions you'll find useful. And there's even the config files here for you guys to check out. And there's a support here. I think the support is called yeah. So it's pretty much that and now I'll be showing you the gameplay. Hey guys, so I'm back here at the game play right here. So now I'm gonna show you the commands and other stuff what you can do in the game. So you have to just do MA for the list of commands here. So there's MA notify. Oops, yes, sir. MA notify. So it's basically like you, if you're gonna get the alerts or not. So I think here you have enabled the alerts and you can even disable it. So, so I'm gonna keep it enabled and you can even inspect a player like inspect Queen Arrow 99. So here I can see everything about the player data like how many ores he has mined and other stuff. You can actually see it yourself here, there's nothing really else. And there's other commands like MA settings. So like basically like if you wanna like inspect someone so like this is a place where like if you wanna be invisible but you don't wanna pick up items, so you can just do that. And and you can even do this, enable night vision. There's even enable spectator mode, I won't be at in that. So there's even this disabled item pickups. Like if you wanna pick up items, so it's basically that you can even disable night vision here. So yeah, it's pretty much that it's actually pretty cool because it's easier to inspect others secretly. So yeah, there's other ones like MA reload, you don't really need it right now. So now I'm going to show you like placing the blocks and showing the alerts. Now what I'm gonna do is just place it here. And now I'm mine this all I'm gonna get an alert. Oops, I don't think it's good now. Okay, it seems to be like I'm hope that way there may be a bypass version. Okay, there seems to be a small issue. It must be because I'm doing it myself. But yeah, if you like if you, you can test it yourself by inviting a player. So like all you would do is just place some blocks and then break them. I'm gonna show you the ore settings later. So yes, pretty much that. Okay, so I'm back here at the config files, and these are the files you want to see with the editable. So the first one is actually database of animals. So like, if you want to use support to MySQL or MariaDB or any other database, I'm guessing. So yeah, pretty much that. But you can also disable it here, as you can see here, false. So I've disabled it, and there's messages without environment here. So like, you can actually just rename the prefix so like if you didn't want MA you could just like alerts or something and like if you didn't like the colors you can just change the color codes there's not really issue with that and it's pretty much there and now I'm gonna show you the all settings this is the main part actually so here's basically the part so like here's the interval I'm guessing it's 30 seconds so here's the alerts so like it's basically like if a person mines ancient debris are you gonna get an alert or not so it's actually enabled here that means you're going to get the alert but like yeah so here's the ancient debris amount so it's basically like if there were like 10 ancient debris in the line and the man mined like over 5 then you're gonna get an alert from the 6th ancient debris so it's pretty much like that same with everything here so yeah I suggest you changing the number here to more because sometimes there's a lot of coal you know like there's like 30 core ores and there's even copper I guess well these actually are set to 1.18 I'm guessing because I'm currently running the server on 1.16.5 so yeah not every config is gonna work here but they're already present so you can just use them if you're using 1.17 or 1.18 so yeah it's pretty much that and make sure to subscribe for more videos and like the video if you liked it and comment down if you want more videos.